There are many tools in Modeler that will allow you to slice up your geometry and one of the most popular ones is Bandsaw Pro and Bandsaw. So I thought we could take a look at both, see the difference between Bandsaw and Bandsaw Pro and, uh, and see how this stuff works. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Texture Wire and I'm going to zoom in to the face so that we can uh, add some geometry. So I've got this laugh line here. Okay, that runs around the, the nose and the mouth. And if I wanted to add another segment, another slice running through there, well, if I wanted to, I could select two polygons, come over to Select Loop, and then come over to Construct, Connect, and slice right through there. If I wanted to make multiple slices going this way, I would have to deselect, select, select loop, and I'll hit L for Connect and add it that way. But there's, I'm just undoing, there's a, another option which is Bandsaw. Now let's let's first take a look at Bandsaw and then we'll look at Bandsaw Pro. So if I select one poly on here and come over to Multiply, Subdivide, More, Bandsaw, I get the Bandsaw uh, options. I can pick which edge to select and it's really talking about which loop to select. Which band is it going to select this or is it going to run this way? So I'm going to pick auto and it picks um, the loop that I wanted but that was kind of like flipping a coin. Well what, what if it decided that it was going to pick this loop? So now what I'm going to do is pick bandsaw and pick even and then I'm going to pick bandsaw and pick odd. Okay, not really what I was after. So usually I keep it at, um, oops, not Bandsaw Pro. Usually I keep it at Auto. And if you really want to help it, I find sometimes selecting a few polys and then going to Bandsaw uh, will help it determine which direction to go in. Now, if you don't have Enable Divide On, Bandsaw becomes Select Loop. It does the exact same thing as select loop. It doesn't cut anything. All it does is select the geometry. Okay, so let's go to bandsaw. With enable divide on, picture this as your polygon, and it's going to slice right down the center. Now, if you want, you can click and drag this and decide that you want the cut to be over here because we're in edit mode. If I add some cuts, I can then edit each cut. If I don't want, say, this cut right here, I can delete and just click on it. So I'm in delete mode, click, edit, come over here. Now if I put this here and this one way over here, the spacing isn't the same, but if I click uniform, I can make uniform spacing equal spacing between each cut. If I decide to slide this one over here and then I went, oh, I want the exact opposite of this, I can reverse the order. Okay. I can also take this one and mirror it and it'll mirror it on the, uh, over the center line of where uh, the one selected is. I can also clear to get back to default. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple cuts and click OK. And so now I got a couple cuts on there. So that's a quick look at Bandsaw. Now Bandsaw, uh, in a lot of ways, have been, has been replaced with Bandsaw Pro, uh, but it does work different. Bandsaw wasn't interactive, Bandsaw Pro is. Some people like it, um, you know, one way or the other. So I'm just going to select Bandsaw Pro, and immediately, without even opening up the, the numeric panel, uh, I've got Select Loop. I could just go ahead and commit, and I've selected Loop. Okay, but I have select loop for that, so I'm going to go over to Bandsaw Pro, in for numeric, and right now it's kind of the same setup. If I want to enable divide, then I can commit. Now if I undo, and now that I've enabled divide, just by clicking Bandsaw Pro, it does it for me already. It remembers it from the last time I used the tool. So I don't even have to open up the, um, the window. A lot of times whenever I'm adding a an extra loop, an extra segment, i wanting it right down the center and I wouldn't have to, to worry about anything. I wouldn't have to open up the numeric panel. So that's enable divide. Now presets, we'll get into presets in, in just a sec. Um, direction, this is that auto, odd, and even. 
so it's the same. Uniform, mirror, reverse, clear. That's the same as over in, in Bandsaw. But uh, instead of clicking and dragging on this, we use the mini slider. But if you notice in OpenGL, it's interactive. I can see it before I commit, which is really handy. I don't have to, to undo uh, after I do it because I didn't get what I wanted. I can just interactively move this. Okay, that's the edit operation. Um, we've got add and delete, just like over in, let's just add. Uh, we've got add and delete, just like over in uh, Bandsaw. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and clear. Now, one thing that's, that's nice about uh, Bandsaw Pro is for the presets, if I come down to, let's just go custom 10. See how that jumped? It remembered the last time I used it and set it to custom 10. So I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to custom one, which is looks like the default setting. See how enable divides not active? Well, I'm going to make it active. Then I'm going to um, go ahead and add some cuts like this. And say I position them, and I'm really happy with them, and I'm like, man, I I, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, commit, or actually I drop the tool. I'm going to go back and commit. And then I go, mm, no, not really digging it. Undo, undo. And uh, then I'll go back to Bandsaw Pro, go to default settings. Nope, I want to go back to that setting I have. So see, I'm saving custom setups so that I don't have to set them up again when I go back to use it. So this is just a really quick look at using both Bandsaw and Bandsaw Pro. Bandsaw Pro does everything that, that Bandsaw does uh, for the most part, except it's interactive. You can save uh, custom profiles of the you know presets of the cuts. And uh, I think the big key benefit of Bandsaw Pro is you don't have to open up the panel. You can just um, click the tool and hit enter and, and you're fine. Uh, and the you know the other one is the interactivity. I mean, being able to see your cuts uh, and know where they're going to be before you commit is kind of a kind of a nice setup. So again, quick look at Bandsaw and Bandsaw Pro found under the Multiply tab. So Bandsaw Pro is right on the interface, and Bandsaw is in the More.